Welcome to the 10D and 30D amplifier tutorial. Both amplifiers are specifically designed for fixed install applications and offer the same DSP power as the D80 Turing amplifier. First, let's have a look at the devices from the outside. On the front panel, different LEDs provide status information about power condition and data transfer, channel mute, input signal presence, gain reduction and overload. Individual channel mute LEDs will flash to indicate an error condition in the respective channel. In case of a general device error, all channel mute LEDs will flash simultaneously. Let's now have a look at the rear panel. On the left, you can find the mains power switch and a power con connector. The center section contains two pairs of speaker outputs, represented by 4-pin Phoenix Euroblock sockets. Four RJ45 connectors provide remote control connectivity. There are two connectors each for dbCAN and Ethernet access. The upper right side contains the signal input panel. The 10D and 30D both accept four analog inputs and two digital inputs in AES format at the same time, giving a total of eight simultaneous input signals. Latency-free buffered daisy chain outputs are provided for the AES inputs. The analog inputs can be daisy chained by parallel wiring within the Phoenix connectors. Below the input section, there are five user-definable GPIO connectors and an additional fault connector. A reset button is located between analog input connectors A2 and A3. To reset the amplifier, turn off the power, press and hold the reset button and repower the device. The amplifier will sound a long beep. Release the button and click it briefly to confirm. After a few seconds, all mute LEDs will illuminate to indicate that the reset procedure has completed. Please note, this procedure does not change the network settings of the device. How to reset the network settings will be shown in the next chapter.